Okay, the fours cancel each other out, and then 28 divided by 7 is 4. Makes sense. Uh, or does it? That's exactly where the trap is hiding. So why do people get this wrong? Well, many assume you can just cancel the 4 in the denominator with the 4 at the end, and then finish the division left to right. But that's not how fractions and division interact. Remember, when you have division by a fraction, you need to apply the keep, change, flip rule, or KCF for short. Let's slow down and apply PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Multiplication and division have equal priority, so we work from left to right. Step 1. The tricky part is 28 divided by 7 over 4. Using KCF, dividing by 7 over 4 is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, which is 4 over 7. So now we have 28 times 4 over 7 times 4. Step 1, 28 times 4 over 7. 28 divided by 7 is 4, and 4 times 4 equals 16. So the first part simplifies nicely to 16. Step 2, multiply by the remaining 4. 16 times 4 equals 64. So the correct answer is 64, not 4. Crazy, right? Just a tiny misunderstanding with fractions and the order of operations can completely change the result. If you have valid arguments or solved it a different way, write it down in the comments. I'd love to see your thinking. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to share this with a friend who thought the answer was four.